video number two on the Chefman hot water kettle. Now, I did what I could. I didn't take the bottom of the kettle apart, but I did my cleaning and it got a little better, but not good enough. So I took the bottom apart. Now, the interesting thing was it was just three screws, but here's the problem. It wasn't a Phillips. And me being old, it was hard to see. It's that, let me see if, if you could see this head. Wait. It's not a Phillips. It's a three, see? It's only got three positions on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's got, it's see, the three, it's only got three, not four, like a Phillips looks like an X. It's not, it's this weird, see that weird top, see it? To get that out. So I got this little kit with all these funky different shapes in it, see? It's, see, so I, I was able to actually get that out. When you get in there, this is inside there. Now, I cleaned the terminals as best I could, but I'm also gonna push, I see this center one works by pressure and there's really nothing holding it in. So I'm gonna give that a little push down and we'll hope for the best. Let me set the camera up. You know, so I can work with my hands, I'll put it back together and we'll give it a test. So I'm gonna push this out. I also to check these terminals, they were good. I clean them out. I just want to push this a little more in there just to be sure it's making contact. And this one, we want to push it a little more toward the... Well, this one actually does nothing. That one right there does nothing. There's no wire. There's no ground on it. It does nothing. So when I was paying attention to that outside one, it was actually doing nothing. So really, I have to get that one clean, a little spritz in that one. Oh, I can't move the can. All right, well, let me give this one a little push to, into. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one was really loose. You know what? That one barely, you know, that was loose. All right, now let's see. And we're going to put it back together. You just place it in there, see? You just place it in there. Okay, and then we got to put the bottom on. It's probably a little track for the wire to fit in. Oh, look at that. There's a little track for the wire to fit in. I didn't notice that before, but you got to get that wire in that track so you don't pinch it on anything. See that wire follows that cute little track. And then we put that toward the opening, holding that thing in place. It's going to be probably a little tough to line up those three screws, I would think. Because there's no real... Oh, boy. That's not going to be an easy... One of the screws is still in there. i got to knock that out. Come on. One screw does not want to come out. All right, now, let's get them... Very hard to uh, line up. It's just it's really, it's tough. You can't even see the screws in there. Be patient with this thing. There we go. I think I got one. Okay, I got one caught. That's going to be, I got to get the other two final openings for them. There we go. The other one looks like it's going right into the power plug. But remember that it, it actually is going around that, that little hole. There we go. Got that one caught. Now you guys are going to come with me. And we're going to see if it works. It might have. It might not. Let's let's find out. And I didn't test this prior. So you're seeing real life here whether it's going to work or not. There we go. Let me get this plug. All right. Here we go. Let me give it one last, take the camera with me. I want to give it one last shot. I like that cleaning stuff. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, I got to plug this in too. Hold on, got to reach back for the plug. It would be hidden behind 50 million things. Okay, anyway. Let's, let's hope this worked. 
Now, wait a minute. Turn it on. Come on, baby. Now, we're going to rotate it. That was the trick. Now, it lit. Now, remember we rotated it and it turned off? It turned off again, see? What a weird problem that is. See, it's an intermittent thing. That did not completely solve it. So, to me, I think it's some kind of connection problem. I think I know what we're probably it could be it could be in the bottom of the teapot itself so that's the next thing we got to look at you didn't short it you should be making a better connection than this you shouldn't have to do this so the next thing I want to do is open up inside there on the bottom of this thing and we're going to look at the three connections at that I don't know, maybe I could I could just dump it and take you guys with me on that one. Let's see. Uh, you know, looking at the bottom, it does look clean in there. Maybe it's just a hardware issue. You know, I could open it up. I shouldn't have to do this. It's not that old. I'm going to give the bottom of this a little spray. and And we'll try it again. But it also might be working off pressure, too. Maybe you have to have a certain amount of water in there so it turns on. And also, I didn't clean it. You should hit it. You could hit it with, like, an eraser or something like that. Now, it could be a pressure thing. Let's say if it goes while it's empty. You know what? It might be a pressure thing. Let, let's put more water in this thing. It could be that, you know, it really needs the weight to push down on it, which could be a nice safety issue. Let's put a good amount of water in there. Let's see what it does. I always use the filtered water. I'm not going to fill it past that line. Wherever that line is. There we are, almost to the max. Now let's see what it does with the weight on it. No, it still went out, see? Even with the weight on it. You know, it shouldn't be. Although now with the weight, look, I'm doing full circles though. No. Nope. It's not in the switch. So we still got that intermittent connection problem. And you would think by doing this, you would clean the surface. Actually, let's do that with the power off. Now let's go slow. See if, the, nope, see? Drops out. Very strange.